So we hopped on the Willow Mill Park, hopping on the Connaughton. Gonna float the whole way down to Westover. Never done this stretch. Pretty flat. I hear it running through my blood. If I feel in it, then I don't stand a chance. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Float. I highly suggest it. Definitely check out the uh, the PDF, the map um, that's free online, and then just plan out where. As for two floating, you'd have to do a shorter stretch than you would on the yellow breeches because that that moves a little bit better. I think there's a little elevation change, so it helps keep the water moving. Uh, so here on the Conagwinet, there's a lot of stretches, like one we just went through for a good quarter, half a mile stretch, which was pretty flat, so you had to paddle. That's where it's better for a, a sup board or kayak. Haven't hit anything. We have gotten a lot of rain recently, so um, that definitely helps play into not having to deal with a lot of rapids or hitting anything on the bottom. So that's good for sup boards, uh, kayaks. Uh, but yeah, I highly suggest kind of go in it. It's pretty empty. June 1st, Saturday, so. You know, it's early in the season, but we wanted to take advantage of it because it's been raining a lot. Water level's perfect, as I said earlier, so yeah, definitely happy with the Con of Gwinnett so far. Definitely gonna have to add this to the lexicon of floats between this and uh, Yellow Breaches.